Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and thanks for checking out this video on things I wish all boaters would know. If you're a newer boater, even if you're an experienced boater, you may learn something here. The first is always have your dock lines. Not only have dock lines on the boat, have at least four of them, maybe even six. But as you come into a docking situation, get your dock lines ready. Have them attached. It's amazing how much easier everything is when fenders are out and dock lines are attached and ready to go. When you get to your dock, even if it's not a perfect approach, you've got everything ready. It's easier to step off and make it look good and get tied up securely than if you're fumbling with your lines and still trying to get them out or get them hooked up to the cleats and figure out how you're going to tie off. When you do all that stuff beforehand, everything is much, much easier. Next is maintenance. Understanding the required maintenance and the, the little things that you just don't know you don't know that a boat needs, like pulling the prop and checking for fishing line, um, changing the impeller on a, a periodic basis every two to, to maybe three years at the, at the most, changing your fluids, um, cleaning out the, the cowling and keeping everything clean and greased, all those little zerk fittings. Those are things that we talk about in the Boater Boot Camp, which is a, a free video program that you can get at BoaterBootCamp.com. Next, if you're a trailer boater, the biggest mistake I see at the ramp is backing in too deep. You typically, depending on the angle of your ramp, you typically don't need your bunks all the way submerged a foot into the water. Leave just a little bit of that tip out, and you'll be surprised at how much easier trailering your boat out of the water is and getting it loaded up. Next, if you're night boating... The LED lights are super popular, but docking lights are not meant for cruising down the middle of the lake. Any extra lights you have on your boat, it's really, you'll find it's easier to drive if you leave all of those extra lights off and save those cool LED lights from where you just anchored out or when you're at the dock. And you'll find night operation is so much easier and safer for everybody else. Next is just knowing how to operate your boat, knowing how the controls work on your boat and having the feel for them. Uh, it, it's something that I wish more boaters knew. You see it at, sitting at the restaurant docks or, or even at the boat ramp, and you see that people just don't understand the basics. It's why I created the best boat captain on the water that will, will just boost your confidence and your skill level. Uh, same thing with Trailer Like a Pro, Tow Water Sports with Confidence and the Boating Fun Amplifier Toolbox. Next is having the proper anchor set up and setting the anchor out with the right amount of line, having the right amount of chain. Um, typically, if you've got your anchor, you have five foot of chain, and then you let out five to seven times the depth of the water. If it's nice and calm, you can get away with three. Uh, but if you've got wind, if you've got current, if you've got big waves, um, let out some more line, and that chain is really one of the, the keys. So um, there's, there's a couple other videos on the channel you can see about anchoring as well. Next is understanding no-wake zones and, and truly just the impact of your wake on other boaters, on shorelines, people anchored out, um, people's docks. Being considerate. It, it may be that, yeah, you're just outside the no-wake zone, but if you're surfing, um, if, you're, if you're going real slow and plowing that water, maybe get out into the middle of the water where your wake isn't causing <clears throat> that much damage uh, or that much inconvenience for other boaters, even if you're inside the law and definitely in the no-wake zones. That means idle speed. Another thing I see a lot, especially with kids, is towing water sports just way too fast. I'm, I'm over 200 pounds, and when I used to barefoot, I only barefooted at about 32, 33 miles an hour, um, and it was plenty fast to do it. When I pull my kids on the wakeboard, I'm going maybe 8, 10, 12 miles an hour, um, depending on the conditions and, and what they're doing. Uh, when you're tubing, you know, there's a, a speed that's appropriate for the age and the aggressiveness that you want to tow them, but it really, you don't need to go very fast as a slow while I'm skier, I ski about 32 miles an hour. If I'm skiing on two, um, about 22 miles an hour. Something that we talk about in the best boat captain in the, the tow water sports with confidence section of that. And then it's knowing how to handle your boat in different conditions and handle the weight distribution. There's a lot of issues that can be caused when you have all of your weight up front in the bow, uh, when you're operating and you don't know exactly where we're going. Uh, again, it, it comes down to the skills of the operator and knowing how to manage your boat and the guests on your boat properly so you can have a good fun time out of the water. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're a newer boater, um, I encourage you to grab that boater boot camp. It's totally free, boaterbootcamp.com. If you are not confident, operating your boat, handling around the docks, putting it on the trailer. Check out the best boat captain on the water, bestboatcaptainonthewater.com. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.